Hey there, I'm Ari from the Tech Buyers Guru, and in this video, I'll be discussing a recent announcement by AMD regarding the compatibility of existing chipsets with a future CPU lineup, specifically Zen 3, likely to arrive at the end of 2020. Now, the fact that AMD is even talking about Zen 3 should be cause for celebration among enthusiasts, but this announcement landed like a ton of bricks in the enthusiast community because of what AMD said about existing chipsets, specifically B450 and X470 won't support Zen 3. The reason this is so problematic is that B550, which is one of the chipsets that will support Zen 3, hasn't even arrived yet. It's scheduled for launch in June of this year. That means a lot of people who've been looking for a budget solution for their Ryzen 3000 series CPUs are using B450. That's a chipset that's been around for about a year and a half, and a lot of people have bought into it thinking that they could upgrade again at the end of 2020. Now, to understand how AMD got into this predicament and why people are so upset, you have to turn back the clock to 2017 when AMD launched its original Ryzen processors along with the AM4 socket. At that time, AMD was a struggling CPU company looking to get some kind of foothold against its bigger competitor, Intel. And one of the ways they did that was by offering more value, more cores per dollar with its eight core Ryzen CPUs and more longevity in its chipsets, the AM4 socket. At that time, AMD promised that AM4 would be around for four generations worth of CPUs or four years. That's double what Intel provided at the time and what Intel has provided since then. So people took a chance on AMD, took a risk with Ryzen, not knowing if AMD was even going to be a going concern four years later because they thought, well, there's gonna be a lot of value packed into these motherboards I'm buying in 2017. I'll be able to upgrade for four years and I've never been able to do that with Intel. So you could see why people who bought into that promise back in 2017 or 2018 or 2019 would be very disappointed to find out that all the motherboards that they could have purchased in those years won't support Zen 3 despite having the same physical AM4 socket. It's as if AMD has two teams, the A team and the B team. The A team is working on their CPUs and knocking it out of the park every time and breaking the back of its competitor, Intel. The B team is working on the chipsets and is dropping the ball every single time, over and over again, releasing the chipsets after the CPUs arrive on the market. What good is that? Now there is a technical roadblock that AMD has run into here that they may not have anticipated back in 2017. And that is that the flash memory on board, every motherboard in the market has a limited capacity and holding the microcode for four generations worth of CPUs is more than that flash memory can do. Now you may say, well, why don't you just give it more flash memory? Well, I think it's a little bit harder to implement that than it sounds. First of all, flash memory is not cheap, particularly when you're considering low margin motherboards at the lower price ranges that B450 and B550 sell for. But second of all, there is an issue of whether or not it can physically work with a lot of existing motherboards. MSI was able to implement this back in 2019 with its max line of B450 and X470 motherboards, but no other motherboard manufacturer did it. So it does suggest it's not something that's easy to do. Perhaps it's cost prohibitive to do. Perhaps it's risky to do. MSI did it, but we didn't see it from ASUS, Gigabyte, or any of the rest. So it's not necessarily a slam dunk solution. And apparently AMD couldn't require it of its motherboard partners here in 2020 to support Zen 3 coming at the end of the year. Now there is a solution that I do anticipate motherboard manufacturers will roll out when Zen 3 arrives, but it's not something AMD can announce because they're not really in control of it. And that is that I anticipate that motherboard manufacturers will roll out new firmware that cuts out the microcode and therefore support for first generation and perhaps second generation Ryzen processors in order to add in support for Zen 3. That will mean that perhaps owners of say a Ryzen 7 1700 or a Ryzen 7 2700X won't be able to upgrade to Zen 3, but maybe an owner of a Ryzen 5 3600 or a Ryzen 7 3700X will be able to upgrade even if they're using an older B450 or X470 motherboard. That's despite the fact that AMD officially says those motherboards won't support the new Zen 3 lineup. So I am hoping that motherboard manufacturers will come through with this solution. I really think that they probably can, but it's a question of whether they will. And it's not something AMD could probably require them to do because honestly, the motherboard manufacturers are on their own to provide their own firmware for each of their motherboard models. Maybe they'll choose specific lineups that sold really well. For instance, 
This B450 motherboard I have from Gigabyte was extremely popular. It's been selling out for months. It's probably the most popular ITX motherboard on the market. It would make a lot of sense for Gigabyte to support Zen 3 on this particular motherboard, but perhaps not all of its B450 motherboards. So again, this is a little bit more complicated than AMD could handle in a press release because there's gonna be a lot of give and take and a lot of decisions to make by motherboard manufacturers. But I can almost guarantee that popular B450 and X470 motherboards will be updated to some extent in order to support Zen 3. You may not be able to flash directly from a Ryzen 7 1700 or any other first gen or second generation CPU, but you will be able to flash with some existing CPU to a new firmware to support the latest Zen 3 processors. Now, if you have any questions about this video and my thoughts on this announcement, please post them down below. Of course, I do appreciate a like and subscribe, and I will catch you soon.